Hello, my name is Lynn Hastings and I am the United Nations Resident and Humanitarian Coordinator in Palestine. Good morning, my name is Noha Bawazir, I'm the head of the UNESCO office in Ramallah and representative to Palestine. We are coming to you from Jerusalem to discuss World Press Freedom Day. In 2022, the theme is Journalism Under Digital Siege. While digital technologies have ushered in exceptional progress in things like enhancing access to information, shaping the news, and how we all consume it, it also brings many challenges and risks. In Palestine, like everywhere, journalism under siege is an urgent issue requiring attention and action, all the more so given the political situation and the ongoing conflict. Digital platforms have supported Palestinian journalists and human rights defenders to raise awareness of the challenges and the issues they face and to call for change. At the same time, cyberspace can all too often be an unsafe space for them. Closures of websites, online abuse, threats of violence, surveillance, and of course, ongoing misinformation have all been reported by Palestinians, particularly journalists and human rights defenders. Alongside the digital siege, we are also taking this opportunity to highlight the ongoing physical, psychological, and other risks facing journalists in Palestine. Journalists operate in a very complex environment in Palestine. It's often tense, where they can risk physical attacks, confiscation of their equipment, arrest and detention, and in some cases, destruction of their premises. Palestinian journalists must be free to carry out their duties, hold institutions to account, and ensure that the public has access to reliable, accurate, and up-to-date information. The UN system in Palestine is trying to address some of these issues in multiple ways. First of all, from the policy level, Secondly, from the more concrete programmatic initiatives. UNESCO and UN Women, for example, have organized radio broadcasts with female journalists because they actually face very specific challenges. UNESCO and OHCHR have monitored and continue to monitor and report on the media environment overall. Freedom of expression, peaceful assembly and association including cases where journalists have actually been beaten or harassed while reporting on protests and demonstrations. At the individual level, UNESCO has supported the development of a journalist safety network in Palestine and established the national mechanism to monitor safety journalists. UNESCO works also to enhance media information literacy in Palestine. To achieve Sustainable Development Goal 16, which is peace, justice, and strong institutions, and all of the other goals in the 2030 Agenda, we need an independent, pluralistic, and free press in Palestine and beyond. All of us at the UN in Palestine applaud the courage of journalists as their work enhancing press freedom is the cornerstone of democracy and respect for human rights, offline and online.